Example 7 is the integration of ex sine x dx. Uh, we have a exponent function and a trigger function. So our u will be the trigger function and our dv will be the exponential function. So if you differentiate the sine x, you will have the cos x and you differentiate again, you have the negative sine x. And you have the ex, you integrate it, you will get ex and ex. This example is very interesting. You will find that the first row and the third row, their function is the same. Just their coefficient is different. So what you have to do is you have to stop here and you have the uh, plus sine times sine x times ex and then minus cos x ex and then plus integration of negative sine x ex dx. So you found that the integrate of ex sine x dx is same with the item in the left hand side. So you have to plus this uh, ex sine x for both sides then you have the 2 of integration of ex sine x dx is equal to ex sine x minus ex cos x and this question we want to find the integration of ex sine x dx so what you have to do is you divide 2 for both sides then what you have is actually integration of ex sine x dx is 1 over 2 ex you factor out the ex and sine x minus cos x plus c and let's look at example number eight this is similar with the example number seven we have a trigger function and an exponent function of u will be the trigger function and you differentiate it you will have the negative sign x and differentiate you have the negative cos x and then you have the e to the power of 2x you integrate it and integrate again you found that uh, cos x negative cos x e to the power of 2x and e to the power of 2x divided by 4 the function in the third row is same with the function in the first row just the coefficient is different so we will stop here then what we will have is actually the integration of e to the power of 2x cos x dx is equal to e to the power of 2x divided by 2 cos x mm, plus e to the power of 2x divided by 4 sine x and minus integrate of e to the power of 2x divided by 4 cos x dx so you can see that e to the power of 2x cos x and this one is same with the left hand side then we will add this item to the both side then we will have the 5 over 4 e to the power of 2x cos x dx is equal to e to the power of 2x divided by 2 cos x plus e to the power of 2x divided by 4 sin x and then the question again they want the e to the power of 2x cos x so you have to multiply 4 over 5 to the both side then you factor out the e to the power of 2x then the answer will be e to the power of 2x divided by 5 and multiply with the 2 cos x plus sin x and the whole thing plus a constant.